Hello friends, 34 of 100. This is Amanda Roberts. Just got home a little bit ago from the gym and have been cleaning, 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 but I wanted to pop on here, get my live in for the day so that I can spend some awesome time with my kids and head towards the pool in a little bit. Anyways, I wanted to share some things because I watched um, my training last night for Unstoppable Influencer and then I've had an awesome weekend with friends just spending time with friends and kind of I mean just talking which is so awesome to just sit and talk sometimes we need to do that and we oftentimes get away from it but last night's training was about thoughts and positive thoughts hello Miss Rhonda and hi Dawn you know, we, so the whole training, and I'm not even going to try to butcher it, is essentially, you know, like UCLA and all these colleges and research have done that a lot of people, all we do all day long is think negative thoughts. And we assume the negative in a lot of situations. Um, and so I think that I wanted to come on here and just share with you guys a little bit about what I decided to do is they said keep a thing on your wrist like a rubber band or whatever this is just a hair tie but um and when you have or start to think negative thoughts like snap it like snap it so that you can think instead of saying something along the lines of you know I suck at cardio or I hate the gym I'm getting better or come with it with a, a change and you know she talked about how you say i'm tired and then all of a sudden you really are tired or i hope the family doesn't get sick and yet those things are exactly what happens is you know so instead of you know putting that out there for the world what about if you started changing the way you thought and i'm only telling you guys this because this morning uh, monday wednesday and friday at f45 is typically a cardio intensive workout it's high intensity and today were some of my least favorite exercises and I just started an interior dialogue because we all talk to ourselves and instead of saying things like Ugh, or you know negative I just changed it and it helped me so flippin much you have no idea how much that internal dialogue of having a positive outlook on today's workout truly helps me and it's just like when you maybe you're on a weight loss journey or maybe you're on a business journey or maybe you're trying to whatever it is what if you changed every time you started to say something oh you know well i'll never reach that weight well you're never going to reach it because you've told yourself you're never going to reach it you're never going to hit that goal if you keep telling yourself you're never gonna do it. So be careful with your words. Just like, um, you know, I've always been told, learn a positive experience, you go and tell people, right? But a negative experience, you tell nine times more people. So you have bad service at a restaurant, you're nine times more likely to tell nine more people than you would have otherwise. And so I just challenge you today, Instead of getting frustrated or upset or have angry or whatever negative emotion, change it. Because you never know what someone else is going through. You don't know where, as my kids fight in the other room. Um, but that's just it, you guys, is think positive. Oh, now they're laughing. Think positive thoughts. Have a shift or start looking at it differently. So instead of speaking right away, think, how might this be? So like I worked on, I'm gonna share this with you really quick and Rhonda's on here and then I'm hopping off cause I'm gonna go over and watch our training. But like my first challenge, I am a recovering procrastinator. And so she had me start speaking affirmations and told me do one thing daily and so um, you guys, that's exactly what I started doing. And you would be so shocked at how those things start to catapult. And it's like a snowball effect when you start saying the positive side of things. So it's like starting from today, I'm stopping the procrastination in my life. I shift from procrastination to implementing the next steps forward. So instead of thinking all of the crud, and not having a joyful spirit, 
my whole thing is someone said to me, my coach for this challenge said, Amanda, what brings you joy? So I challenge you today, write down 10 things that truly bring you joy. Mine are laying out at the pool. Mine are, you know, spending quality time with people I love. Mine are having a glass of wine or a cocktail around a kitchen table or on the couch with people I love. Mine are things that not most often, the things that bring you the most joy have no monetary value. So I challenge you today, write down 10 things that bring you joy and change one thought. So when you have that overwhelming negative, go find some other way to flip it and think positive. Have a great day, you guys. I love you so much. Bye.